the investigation taking a turn into a murder investigation. NYPD top brass this afternoon talked about potential charges against 42 year old Michael Camerata in the case of the disappearance of his estranged wife. Janine Camerata was last seen alive on Saturday night around 9 when she left her current boyfriend's home in Staten Island for the home of her estranged husband in the Rockaways in Queens. I believe he probably baited her because she was afraid of him. Her attorney confirms that Janine and Michael Camerata were to begin a potentially bitter divorce and custody proceeding on Monday. But over last weekend, according to police, the worst happened. Her estranged husband was seen in surveillance video storing a bag at this South Staten Island storage facility where crime scene technicians have been all day today. A body in the bag was burned beyond recognition. Law enforcement sources say that Michael Camerata may have had help moving the body. However, officially, if there is someone else involved, we will learn that person, who the identity of that person, and we'll, we will charge them uh, as well. But there currently is no one else charged with this. Also over the weekend, a series of texts from Janine Camerata's phone were sent to her best friend, claiming multiple times that she couldn't talk because she was with her husband and their kids. Her friends and family were skeptical, and now it seems with good reason. And now detectives still have much more work ahead of them. We have search warrants to continue to execute, forensic evidence to examine, witnesses to speak to, video and electronic evidence to review, and we're still looking for Miss Camerata's 2017 white Chevy Cruze. Now, Janine Camerata's best friend did text me this afternoon just to say that she's too distraught to talk about this situation. And it is now very clear, as she implied, that people who know Janine are preparing for the very worst of news as an autopsy is underway right now. Reporting live from outside the 120 precinct, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.